Rika Brand, and today we're having tacos. I get so many requests for tacos, I can't believe I haven't made them yet. This is what you need. Ground beef, some fresh tortillas, tomato, red onion, some cilantro, cheese, now that's for the topping. You're gonna need oil to fry your tortillas in. And I'm gonna make a homemade spice mix today. I use cumin, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt, oregano, black pepper, and red hot cayenne pepper. And my secret ingredient, a little bit of white vinegar. So crank up your heat to high, and we're gonna start cooking our ground beef while we get everything else ready. I drop my hamburger meat in a little bit at a time because I want it to be all loose when it goes into my taco. I don't want a big meatball in there. And since I want it to brown, I am not going to start stirring it yet until one side of it is brown. So let's go make our spices. So while my meat is cooking on high, I'm going to put my spice mix together, which is two teaspoons of ground cumin, one, two, two teaspoons of chili powder. Oh my goodness, that was about one and a half, so now we're going to do another half. More or less is fine with these spices. One teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon black pepper, one half teaspoon onion powder, one half teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon paprika, and I couldn't get the top off this one, so I'm just gonna give it a lot of shakes there. I think that's good enough for government purposes. One teaspoon oregano, and for a little zip, one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. For a lot of zip, you can do half a teaspoon. And mix that up. This spice mix is like one of those little packages of taco seasoning you get at the grocery store. And it was about 30 cents for all of this. That's a deal. I don't like to pay $1.50 for those. So pour your spice mix into your ground beef. And I haven't stirred this. Which is great, because look at it. Let me make my point here. If I flip this over, it is brown. Voila, we got Action Jackson. And this is my trick to really cooking fast, is when I know I need to get something extra brown for extra flavor, I leave it alone. So this is my secret. I'm adding one quarter cup of water now, because it's brown and the spices got mixed up in it and I'm adding two tablespoons of white vinegar. The white vinegar adds a little tang to the flavor and it also helps tenderize that meat. So we mash that together and mix it around and all that beautiful spice mixture, vinegar and water, is gonna simmer together and make that beef really tender. This is where you turn it down from high to medium. And this is gonna sit there and cook why I get the rest of the taco dish together. It's time to start heating up our oil. So on high it goes, I'm pouring in about one cup of oil. So leave that nearby while you chop up your vegetables. So I'm gonna cut up my vegetables now so they're all ready when my tacos are ready. I like my tomatoes in really small pieces so I can wedge a whole bunch between my taco shell. I like a little red onion in my taco, so I'm going to mince them up in little pieces. And I love cilantro. I think cilantro just identifies your taco as being Mexican. And my cheese is on deck. We're ready to go with those shells. So we got to test the oil to make sure it's hot. And that means it's going to sizzle when I stick a tortilla in it. And it's sizzling. So all I have to do is three at a time. One, two, three because I always have a family to feed. So I've developed methods so this goes down really fast. It's on high and the coldness of those tortillas is bringing the temperature down so it's not too high. I'm gonna turn down my meat now to low because it's ready. Gonna give it a quick stir. Ooh, that looks great, it smells great too. This is the dangerous part of the recipe so be careful. Stay way away from that hot oil. So my method is to have this bubbling up and really hot, and as one side's kind of done, 
then I'm going to flip it. It's been in there about 30 seconds and I can feel that they're getting a little harder to the touch and that's the perfect time to turn, stick a fork in it and we're going to kind of shape it. So that one's going to sit there. This one gets turned and flipped as well. And now this one too. To do three at a time, you got to really maneuver in that oil to get that shape in those taco shells. So turn it over to the other side once one side's crispy, because you want the other side crispy too. It'll take you about three minutes to do a taco shell. Go back and forth until they start to get a golden brown and you know they're done. Then take them out and deliver them to the paper towel plate waiting for them. Shake off that oil. All right, time to make our tacos. So a little meat first is how I make them, or a lot as the case may be. Tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and cheese. Now is that a perfect taco or what? Time to try it. <laughs> Yummy. I really love the spice mixture in that meat. I hope you try it. Subscribe to my channel and let's keep making great things for dinner. <laughs> <laughs>